Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense. Hope you're doing well. It's time for some first impressions. Today we are checking out Salvatore Ferragamo Spicy Leather. It says right here on the front, special edition in the tiniest text I've ever seen. It's like they're embarrassed that it's a special edition. I've been interested in this fragrance ever since I covered it on This Week in Fragrance when it was first announced because the note breakdown looks sick. And even though I was on the lookout for it, I could never find it because in the US it's basically impossible. It's yet again another release where in the United States we're just completely shafted. Is it on Ferragamo's website in the US? No, can't buy it there. The other two Ferragamo fragrances you can buy there. Uh, retailers, Sephora, Macy's, Ulta, Nordstrom, any of them? Nah. I got mine from fragrancebuy.ca. It's about $73 US, so in Canadian, I, th I think that's uh, about $2 million Canadian. I think that's the exchange rate. It's about something like that. So of course I saw it and I was like, yep, I gotta get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this baby today. We're gonna give it a spray and see how it smells. Let's jump into it. Like I said, I got this one from fragrancebuy.ca and I'll link it to fragrancebuy.ca in the description. This is the newest, as of this video, fragrance in the Ferragamo line. So initially they just had Ferragamo, the new fragrance starting a new lineup. Basically they looked at Ferragamo Womo and gave it the finger and said, we're gonna do something new. And then you had intense leather that came out after that and now spicy leather. So you can see what they're doing here. Leather, but with a versatile mass appealing take. And I'm not gonna harp on this the whole video, but I'm gonna harp on it a little bit. Ferragamo Womo, come on, don't kill it. For real though, in fall and winter time, Womo and Womo Signature are great fragrances. Okay, enough of that. Spicy leather, let's open it. I do like the look of the box, looks classy. On the front, you have the name of the fragrance, you have the name of the house, you have the size and the concentration. This is a Parfum Porome, it says. 100 mil size, again, special edition, right there on the front. Salvatore Ferragamo, up at the top. On the side, you have your note breakdown. So in the top, you have golden brightness, bergamot, lemon, and saffron. In the mid, vibrant confidence, black pepper, nutmeg, clary, sage, and cedar. And in the base, mysterious journey, Ferragamo, leather accord, patchouli, and sandalwood. Little bit of information on the back. And then on the bottom, you'll find your badge code and barcode. Badge code here, 00M67AR1. Now let's go ahead and bust out the bottle. There it is, and I gotta say, it looks nice. I really like the look here. This color scheme is working. So it's got an amber coloration to the fragrance. You have Ferragamo across the front, has this nice almost auburn brown leather coloration, and then the gold accents. On the bottom, you have a sticker with your badge code. And I also like the feel of the leather. It's nice and soft, or the faux leather, whatever this is. The time has come, finally. Let's go ahead and spray this on. Let's see how it smells. Let's see if this is worth $73, if this is a special edition that you should be picking up, or if this is just gonna be one of those forgettable fragrances that comes out and then is discontinued and nobody ever talks about it again. Nice atomizer on it. The top here is golden brightness. You get a little bit of the citrus, the lemon, the bergamot. Not a whole lot though, not really a focal point. You do pick up a spicy mixture right away. Not a surprise, it's called spicy leather after all. So you got some saffron, some black pepper. Those are most prominent, most noticeable when you first spray this on. And I pick up the leather right away. It's not a pungent leather. It's not really a black leather. It's not one of those super masculine leather fragrances that have you know, a funky edge to it. There's none of that going on here. It's like a moderately sweet, spicy leather. And I think it smells really nice. Opening wise, from the Ferragamo line, this new line of fragrances, this one would be my most favorite, at least based off just that initial impression. And that's because it smells like there's a little more going on here. It's got a little more substance to it. It's a little bit more interesting. And I really like what the leather is doing here. When I first sprayed it on, I could pick it up right away. It was mixing with the saffron, the black pepper, and it was slightly more aggressive. But now that it's been on my skin just a little bit, it's kind of stepped back, smoothed out, and sweetened up. And it's gotten a lot nicer, actually. Since it softened out, it's becoming way more pleasant. I'm liking this, this is nice. Do I wish I'd gotten this in October? 
So I could have worn it during the fall, during the winter. Yeah, for sure. Because it's about to head into March. It's about to head in spring. And this is not really coming across like a spring and summertime scent, but I'm still glad to have this for sure. It's getting better the longer it stays on my skin. Straight up, the opening is nice, but it is much better now. I'm gonna kind of relive that initial blast again. Ooh, I love that atomizer. Little things, I mean, it's not as good as a Dior, but man, I've had some crap fragrance atomizers here from some of my pickups lately, so that's nice. I'll take what I can get. Yeah, it's a little more aggressive initially, the spice specifically. So you get this nutmeg black pepper that comes in and almost overwhelms the saffron when you first spray it on and the leather you can pick up pretty much right away. But uh, again, it's just a little more harsh isn't really the word, but aggressive. You've got tinges of woodiness on the edges. I really like that, gives this little additional lift. This is really elegant too. I'd say you could wear this to a formal occasion if you wanted to, it would be completely in place. By that, I mean it wouldn't smell out of place. <laughs> so it's in place, kind of a brain stutter there. It smells like a nice evening fragrance, date night kind of fragrance. Really pleasant, very well done. Yeah, so far this is, this is heads and tails, my favorite from the Ferragamo line. $73 does sound fairly expensive, but that is a decent discount from what it would be at a full price. And I gotta say $73, I'm not mad at it. Don't regret this one a bit, great choice. I'm gonna go ask my wife what she thinks, let it dry down and then I'll wrap this up, I'll be right back. I'm back and I'm tired, it's late. The wife really liked it, she gave it the thumbs up, the seal of approval, so all good on that front. And for me, I've gotta say it's my favorite Ferragamo mainline release since probably Womo Signature. It's really good. I think it's much better than Ferragamo, better than Ferragamo Intense Leather. Not that those were terrible or anything, this is just better. And it makes total sense too that this would be a special edition that's way more difficult to pick up because they made something very nice. And why would anybody want to buy that? Instead, let's just make it a special edition and make it impossible to find. Genius. If you're a fan of easy to wear, versatile leather fragrances, then I think you gotta pick this one up. It's got great mass appeal. The opening has that, that punch, that blast of spice, but it's not that bad. Is it more aggressive than the rest of the scent? Yeah, it is, but it settles in really quickly. So even if you don't like that, which I think it's fine, but if you don't like it, a few minutes later, it's gonna be gone. That woodiness comes out more as the fragrance dries down, get a little bit of patchouli that comes and kind of adds an additional nuance. The leather is the star of the show, the spice and the leather. I mean, that's the name of the fragrance. So really, you do know what you're in here for. It's not one of those fragrances where it says something on the front, you know, spicy leather, and then you smell it and it's all ambroxan and citrus and you go, where, where is the leather? What? Nah, this is spicy leather and that's what it is. The fragrance seems to be holding up performance wise. We're hours later, I can still pick it up. Maybe not a monster as far as projection goes, but it seems really good. There we go, Ferragamo spicy leather. I keep going back to this stuff. I love the way it smells. It's sweet, but not too sweet. They really tempered it so that the sweetness doesn't overload the leather and it doesn't overload the spice. Everything here is working together very well. A lot of times you'll have a fragrance where something sticks out a lot more than everything else. You'll have that like bubblegum sweetness that kind of overrides everything, or you'll have a powerful animalic leather that overrides everything. Here, everything is equal. Sweetness, spice, leather, woods, all working together really well. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I've been wanting this since it was announced, and I was hopeful going into it, but it exceeded my expectations, so I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, $73 isn't cheap, but in this circumstance, a special edition that's been hard to find, I'll take that. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. If you smelled this one, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Again, link in the description. Uh, thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.